Yo, what's up guys? My name is Masood and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I haven't been uploading on this channel for quite a while now. Reason being is I've been busy um, updating my, my other channel. Um, so if you didn't know, I had another channel. Um, make sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but, in today's video, I just wanted to discuss a um, question that I got from someone um, which I think is a, um, a common dilemma that many you know, students face up and down the, up and down the country. Um, and that is, you know, what A-levels do I need to study physiotherapy? So, this video is basically going to discuss the importance of studying A-levels and the other entry routes that you can take to actually study a physiotherapy degree. So, without further ado, let's go. So, I can say from my experience that on uh, working many an open day at my university and actually speaking to my admissions tutors who are actually lecturers, um, they, they look specifically for a grade B in biology Reason being is that they want to know that you can, um, you know, uh, you can come in and actually um, be able to to handle the uh, academic workload that's um, that the course entails. So um, the basically the physiotherapy degree it has a lot of it has a significant amount of biological content, and what the a level at grade B actually does is reassures the university that you can come in and you can handle the workload with um, with no problem basically and um, well not 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 with no no problem it's going to take a lot of hard work right because it's not easy becoming a physiotherapist but they want to know that you're going to be okay basically and I suspect that this is the case for um, other universities up and down the country they're going to ask for at least a grade B um, if not higher or you know there might be a like a couple universities who ask for a C or, or anything like that but that's something that you, you might have to research yourself okay so you're probably wondering Masood I didn't do a biology A level geez what should I do okay cool don't stress I actually didn't do a biology A level I did the foundation degree or otherwise known as an access course as well so what it is is basically a year um, of studying in a um, it's a basically a general course in science which gives you the required credits um, uh, equivalent to a biology A level, which allows you to then apply as a, a undergrad uh, onto the course. So after studying this um, foundation degree or access course and gaining a specific amount of credits or grade, you can actually apply to uh, go on to the physiotherapy degree program as normal, so as a sixth form or college student would and no problem basically but you do have you do still have to work hard so um yeah also i know that the cspn and, N and the nhs are in collaboration and they're constantly working to reduce the barriers on um actually potential physiotherapists um i think right now there's a uh, scarcity or scarcity of physiotherapists in the nhs so they're always looking to again as i said um ease the um methods of training to become a physiotherapist um, one thing I know that they're doing right now is something um, known as apprenticeships. Apprenticeships help to um, to to help encourage um, present physiotherapy assistants who are in the in the healthcare industry right now are working and actually you know um, help them transition into full time physiotherapists to help them move up the banding. So from a band four physiotherapy for the physiotherapy assistant onto a qualified physio, which starts at a band five. If you didn't know, you can't be a physiotherapist without having done a physiotherapy degree and you can't be a band 5 without having done a physiotherapy degree. So, no matter how many years you work as a physio assistant, you could work for, as a physio assistant for 50 years, you'll still be a band 4. You won't be a band 5 because you don't have the degree. So, that's something that they're trying to, to work on and um, yeah, that's something to keep in mind as well. So, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you had any further questions uh, and I didn't answer your question or you know if this video wasn't that helpful Please leave me a comment um, on this video and I will do my best to get back to you with a succinct answer. So That's all for now for now. <laughs> I always mess up my words in the last sentence the last uh, few seconds, but That's all I want to say. Hope you guys have a nice day and enjoy this video Peace